Good evening, faculty, staff, friends, and family of Vidalia High School. And good evening to my fellow graduates of the class of 2022. Thank you to all the faculty and staff that worked so tirelessly to present this ceremony. The class of 22 is forever grateful for your relentless de dedication. Thank you to the teachers, coaches, family, and friends that have supported us daily and will continue to support us through every phase of life. I would like specifically to thank my fourth and fifth grade teacher, Miss Missy Springer, who truly helped me love learning, my brother Matthew, and my parents for giving everything so that I could come to the greatest country in the world. And thank you, most importantly, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the beginning of all knowledge and the only strength in this life. I'm really trying to take it all in because an honor like this only comes once in a lifetime. I would be lying if I said I hadn't dreamed of this moment. As you may have noticed, I'm not from Vidalia, Georgia. I was born just down the road in Bethlehem, South Africa. I immigrated to the U.S. with my parents in 2005 at the age of only 15 months. 14 years later, in 2019, I had the privilege of becoming an American citizen, and I have not looked back since. I am a proud citizen of the land of the free. Being an immigrant is not for the faint of heart. I spent a large part of my childhood in immigration offices. You will never know true boredom until you have spent an entire day in a USCIS waiting room. In 2010, my family was forced out of, the, out of the United States due to missing one signature on our visa renewal forms. During that month, academics, especially science, became my outlet. But whenever I started kindergarten, and every other school for that matter, I was told that I would never be as successful as my classmates. I took that personally. And I'd like to think that my standing behind this podium proves all those negative voices wrong. And just between you and me, it feels really good to see the fruits of my labor. I am proud to stand before you today as your valedictorian, and I am conscious of the sacrifices I have made to receive this honor. There may have been stress tears, and compromises, but the lessons and wisdom I've gained on this journey extend far beyond this fancy medal they gave me on honors night. I've learned how to find my intrinsic motivation, even in the face of challenge. Many people in this world will flee from difficulty, but as triumphs fall, so rise opportunities for success. I have no doubt that each member of the class of 2022 will face obstacles and still persist, work hard, and reap the rewards. I've also learned how to prioritize my mental health. Fellow graduates, I urge you to look after your mind. If anyone knows the feeling of struggling with self-worth, imposter syndrome, and burnout, it's me. A goal should never harm you mentally, and if you find yourself needing to be seen or heard, Speak out and find help. Although others might not be able to understand, they can always listen. Sometimes that is all we need. Perhaps most importantly, I've learned the, the importance of kindness and love. I would like to ask everyone to look into the stadium tonight, into the sea of faces before you. Study each individual. You may see your best friend, coworker, teammate, family member, or a stranger. Or do you see someone with whom you don't get along? As the wise Maya Angelou once said, we remember how the people around us made us feel, especially those who were unkind to us. 
I still remember some of the unkind words spoken to me throughout all of my childhood. Those words cut deep. But despite being told I did not belong in this country, I am an American citizen. Despite being told that my clothes were funny, we're all dressed in the same caps and gowns tonight. Despite being told that my voice sounded funny and that I didn't sound American, my voice is echoing through the stadium tonight. Despite being told I was a nerd for studying too much, I will be moving into my dorm at Georgia Tech this fall. So, even though people might speak cruel words, those words don't have to divine us. Sitting on this field are graduates who represent many wonderful accomplishments. Some of us already have college classes under our belts. Some of us have certifications that will prepare us for the workforce. Some here are region winners, others placed at state, and some are state champions. But in 50 years, when our own memories begin to fade, our touchdowns and home runs, our perfect scores and standing ovations will not matter. Between today and 2072, many other accomplishments will come our way in this life. One day, when our grandchildren pull out an old dust-covered yearbook with 2022 embossed on the spine, to flip through the glossy pages and point to the pictures. We might find it hard to remember all the accolades. However, we will remember how we were treated and how we treated someone else. So it is time to leave behind our childhood. It is time to leave behind our childish ways. If you are destined to be a star athlete, do so with kindness and love. If you are destined to cure cancer, do so with kindness and love. If you are destined to join the armed forces and defend this country of ours, do it with kindness and love. If you are destined to be a stay-at-home parent, do it with kindness and love. As you remove your cap and gown tonight, also remove the younger you and prepare yourself for the journey before you. Class of 22, you are truly amazing. Every time I thought your successes could no longer surprise me, you astonished me with more talent. You also pushed me to succeed. I think Taylor Swift said it best in her song, Long Live. Long live all the mountains we moved. I've had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. You are truly the best class I could ever ask for. And you already possess every quality necessary to change the world. As you leave campus tonight for the last time, diploma tucked under your arm, ready to celebrate your monumental achievement and celebrate you should. Remember that you have unfathomable opportunities, all in the palm of your hand. I pray that you extend that hand with kindness and love to others along your journey. May we be known as the Vidalia High School, class of 2022, the class who loved. Thank you. Vidalia High School students who have achieved honor graduate status.